I had gone down the red bar rabbit hole over the pandemic and most of the people that Mike makes fun of don't even acknowledge or say his name. At least anybody with a large following with the exception of two people. Joey Diaz and Sam Tripoli. Sam Tripoli, however, is someone who I consider to be an unhinged crazy person. For real. The guy admits to having drug abuse issues in the past. You could see it in his eyes that he's crazy. Uh, I, I, I had a dr- bad drug problem, bad, you know, sex addiction, all that stuff. And I'm working through it. And I'm an idiot. Sam responded to the fact that Red Bar was making fun of clips of Sam Tripoli. So Sam had a right to respond. But Sam's response was to go after Jules. And he basically made accusations that Jules was groomed by Mike and that he's a P-word. Oh, it's Red Bar. Oh, the guy getting busted for pedophilia right now? Anytime, any place. It will stop going from guys grooming Canadian chicks who are 12 year old. I think at that point he said, uh, hey, well now he gave me the opening to go all out. And so Mike had to take it to a higher level. And so he went after his kids. Did the doctor know that your two kids are brain dead? We've already seen that he allegedly showed up to somewhere where Mike David was living or whatever the case may be and screamed at him over the video of Mike tormenting Sam Tripoli's kids. Mike, I'm going to get you and you're going to sing the song you sang about my daughters. I'm going to fucking get you, you fucking tough guy. Come the fuck down, you fucking piece of shit. Fucking think about my daughters. And Joey Diaz claimed that he allegedly stood outside for 10 hours waiting for the guy and Mike never came down. He talked a lot of shit about a lot of people. And finally, Tripoli hired an investigator and found him in Tucson hiding. Knocked on his condo. He was out there for 10 hours, Tripoli. Tripoli's going to kill him. And the guy wouldn't come down. So Sam Tripoli is the one fool that I feel is really unhinged and actually might do something. And of course, a lot of people are going to be like, oh, no, Sam's not going to do shit. I mean, there's so many Mike Davids in Arizona. You'll never find them. Even Mike himself on a recent episode, I think it was this newest episode, said, oh, maybe the FBI is after me. I'm always looking over my shoulder, but nobody knows where I live. They'll never know. I mean, he made jokes about like, oh, every time I'm driving, I'm looking behind me thinking that someone's following me. And, you know, Sam Tripoli had admitted to hiring a PI to follow Mike David and Jules and find out what's going on with them. Plotting something. There's something being plotted here. Right. So the FBI doesn't know where I live. So shut the fuck up. Um, Or do they know where I live? (laughs) Oh. <laughs> um, hey, Joey, if anything ever happens to me, it was Joey Diaz and Sam Tripoli. Here's proof. Here's all these videos and posts that they think are fine to post out loud. <laughs> and I'm just throwing shit at the wall, trying to figure out ideas for a video. So I just have this idea in my head. It was just on a whim. I email Sam Tripoli from an anonymous account something that has never been in contact with him ever. And I say, hey, Sam, did you know that Mike moved to a new studio and he's back? I know he made this song about your kids and I know you allegedly showed up to where he was and he never came out. And I was like, but apparently he's back. He's back now. and He's got a new studio. And uh, how come you never did anything about that? And I wrote this just expecting to get no response at all. And I wrote it to his contact email. I sent the email to Sam expecting not to get any response because why would he respond to someone who is just completely anonymous, who he doesn't know and has nothing to do with him? He doesn't know if it's a trap or something. Like, why would he respond? I don't know. So that that alone shows you how unhinged this guy is. And hearing the name Red Bar sends him into a frenzy. So he writes me an email back and he goes, I already got his address. 
he's going to see me soon. That's what he responds to me. And you'll see here in the email chain, I email the first email. And if you want to prove it for yourself, contact Sam Tripoli through his website on the contact email. And when he replies to you, your reply will be from his Gmail because he just forwards the mail to that. So this is, I'm swearing to you, 100% legitimate. He responds back to me. I already have the address and he's going to see me soon. So I go, okay, he's just going to give me that cryptic message and that's going to be the end of it. And it's all horse shit. Um, But then I write back with a theory of mine and I say, you know what? I think maybe Mike moved to Tucson because of the gun laws there. They're much looser in Chicago. It's like really hard to get a gun and licenses and all that shit. But in Tucson, you don't need a license. You can buy a gun privately and obviously there's stand your ground laws you can conceal carry and there you don't even have to be at your home you know castle doctrine you can defend yourself with a gun anywhere in public as long as you're fearing for your life so i respond with that theory also to let sam know that he's in a place where he could shoot you <laughs> if you showed up and tried to attack him physically or assault him or whatever. And again, I figured he'll never respond to this because the first email was unbelievable enough. But sure enough, he writes back and responds again with this. A screenshot of an some sort of document, and it says Red Bar's name on it, and an address, obviously information is all censored out because i'm not looking to dox anybody and i find doxing in general it's just a low level move something that when you have no ammunition left that's the only thing you can do i feel like freedom of speech and right to privacy go hand in hand i'm like what is this some made-up bullshit and underneath it it says we got it or someone got it and they leave a link or something but it's a whole image and I'm like, uh, some idiot's probably just trolling Sam, that telling him they found his studio and just gave him bullshit info, right? And so I'm not going to obviously show you the information. It's all blurred out here. I'm not giving out the information. I'm not encouraging anybody to do any doxing of anybody. I just want Mike to know that Sam knows where this new studio is. So the problem here is... I look up the address that was sent to me by Sam Tripoli and it leads to a place with places that you can lease, like a business rental lot where you can lease spaces, right? And I type it in and I look and I mean, there's no designation on maps or Google maps that, oh, this is red bars in here. I mean, it's not gonna be that obvious. Uh, A lot of people use these things they're like storage lockers or they use them to store inventory and so i was like oh this is all bullshit it just looks like a storage locker maybe mike rented a storage locker and they found that or it's another mike so then i go oh wait mike actually posted a video on instagram where he was showing the building of the studio and in the beginning of the video i'm going to show it to you here he shows an entryway and then it turns into a room where they're tearing down a wall and then painting all the walls black to create the new Red Bar Studio. And so looking up this address that Sam Tripoli sent me, I look up all of the lots that are available there and then all of a sudden I go, oh wait, this leads to a link of the actual company that owns the lot and leases out the spaces. I'm not gonna say what it is, obviously, but I go to this company's webpage and you can go to the available units and click on the pictures of them and you can see the whole layout of it. It shows you the blueprints of it, but then also has pictures of that entryway and multiple pictures of the whole place. And everything from that site lines up with what we saw in the video of Red Bar showing the building of his studio. So Sam Tripoli undeniably has the address and location of Red Bar's new studio. That's a 100% fact. 
I checked it. It's for real. So yeah, I'm just going to be really careful about this because I know people on the internet are very artistic is the word I'm going to use for it. You know, YouTube has changed a lot. You can't say anything anymore. So yeah, I'm going to be very careful about it. So I'm not going to show you the pictures that match the video that Mike posted on his Instagram because I know people will be able to reverse image search that image somehow and then they'll find what I'm talking about. But if Mike sees this, he'll know what I'm talking about and that it's credible. So that's that's it. I'm just putting the warning out there for him. Whether Sam's going to do anything or not, I mean, I don't know. But in his email, he said, I have his address. He showed it to me. He's got a home address and the studio address. And he's saying he will see me soon. And this was just recently, just as recent as I started this new channel. So he said it. He said he will see me soon, cryptically. So I think that's just something I want to put out there. It gives Mike a heads up that he does actually know where you are and where that studio is. So you're not hidden from him. And the thing is, if Sam is unhinged, maybe he won't do something, but he has people who listen to him. And if they're crazy enough to believe conspiracy theories, I'm sure they're just as much, if not more, unhinged than he is. And so then here lies the problem. If he's sharing that with other people, there's no telling what those people will do. So like maybe Sam is always posturing, but you don't know what the people he gives that information to will do with it. That's the issue. So I just want to put that out there. Somebody has to share this video and give it to Mike so he knows about it. And also, it gives him some ammunition where he can say, hey, look, Sam Tripoli is still actively looking for me and has found me and has the information and is giving it out to random people. I was nobody and he gave it to me. So who else do you think he's giving it to? But yeah, Red Bar Studio, people know where it is. It's just a matter of if anyone's dumb enough to do something and... Again, I'm suggesting nobody do anything because doxing is gay, doxing is stupid, and it's the only thing left when you have nothing else left to say to defend yourself. Defend yourself with words. If someone's criticizing you and your reaction is to dox them, it means maybe what they were saying is true because if it wasn't, then you would have a easy time defending yourself and responding to it. But to immediately jump to, nah, I'm coming after you, whatever. I mean, the song about the kids, I mean, well, how do you defend that? Be like, no, they're not brain dead. <laughs> no, he's not going to kidnap them and squeeze them and send me videos. Uh, I mean, he could have said, you know, I understand it's all jokes. It is crossing the line. It's disgusting. And anyone who likes that kind of stuff is just as disgusting as he is and move on with his life. He could have not mentioned Red Bar at all. He could have moved on. But I get that there's really no escaping it. I mean, we're even seeing it with this Brendan Schwab thing now where you search Brendan Schwab on YouTube and all of the results are negative videos about Brendan Schwab. His own content is not even popping up anymore. So if you're hated enough and someone generates enough hatred for you, it can take over your entire career. And so it seems like a lot of these comedians are falling apart. That's why you got Joe Rogan showing up on this flagrant podcast with Andrew Schultz and smoking weed and beers and taking them out to dinners because he's like, I want new friends. And I, I see that Red Bar doesn't seem to like them either, the flagrant guys, but I think they're better than the majority of these old people who circled around Rogan who have all these accusations and weird creepy things going on in their lives so I think Joe Rogan honestly is like my old friends are all creepy and weird now so yeah let me go bless this new flagrant studio because these guys clearly are doing something right (laughs) and uh yeah they're not as cringe as all my other friends are so just fair warning to Mike Red Bar, Sam Tripoli is coming for you, and he actually knows where you are. I'm gonna fuck him up for it. I'm gonna fuck up his wife too. She fucking did it too. So it is what it is. I don't give a fuck. You don't do that, dude. I mean, other than that, it could be just sending weirdos to show up there and wait for Mike to come out the back door. And there's gonna be a guy there with a bat, and he's gonna hit you across the fucking head. 
I couldn't do it. I couldn't imagine running a podcast where you're taking shots at all these people and this constant paranoia that uh, someday someone's going to like fuck with you in real life. I'm going to hunt you down. But I get it. That's what he wants to do. And I think I think he figures I'm dying anyway. I'm going to be dead soon anyway, so I don't give a shit. And uh, now I'm in Tucson. I got guns and, you know, I can defend myself. Wouldn't it be great content if Sam Tripoli busted into the door and we just gunned him down live on the air, you know? But yeah, there's nothing else you could do. So there you go. Fair warning to Mike. Sam Tripoli's coming for you. Watch out. He probably won't care, but I'm just letting him know. Sam Tripoli knows where your studio is, and he has said he's going to see you soon. And this was just a few days ago. And he said that to a complete random nobody like me. So do it that what you will, and remember that next time you put your cursor over that copy strike button on my videos and see all the rules that I've adhered to and the quality of these clips, just remember this video, Mike. If I trip and, God forbid, break my weak head on a rock, <laughs> you're going to jail for life. I might kill myself to see this happen. Sorry, Jules. So, I'll kill myself, too. It's fine. So do not believe them <laughs> when they threaten me. There's gonna be a guy that would have died, and he's gonna hit you across the fucking head.